Well, this has been quite a weekend for me. Anyway, don't forget to support the Patreon. Alright, so I, I asked you guys to sit around for half an hour and watch me build it. So now let's review the completed figure. This is the Nautical Fembot Upgrade Kit, also known as the Mail Away Not Nautica. <laughs> so, yep, this started out as a Beast Hunter Starscream, and it's basically been uh, reskinned. Um, just like the Beast Hunter Starscream, it kind of looks weird from profile, you know, because of the way the body accordions together, but that's just an inheritance of the mold. Uh, all around, the figure is actually pretty clean. Um, not that much back kibble. In fact, doesn't have that big stupid spike antenna thing anymore. I call that a win. Um, so yeah. There is your Nautica. Uh, as you can see, I did do a little bit of paint alteration. I added a bit more gray to the underside here. Uh, zoom in on that. Yes. And, um, let's take a good look at her face. The head is very well ball jointed, allowing for some expressive tilt. And it can still move all around. The visor is movable, can go down to cover her eyes or go all the way up to show off her head crest. I like to keep it in the middle, kind of like a casual thing. And, you know, if, uh, if you too own a Beast Hunter star screen, then you basically know how her articulation works for the most part. Um, the, the turbines in the back can be repositioned. You can fold them all the way back, although it would make her look weird from profile. I like to keep them outwards. You can, and they can rotate too, so, like, she can be hovering. Although, this one's a little loose. I'm gonna have to use some Bondic or something to see if I can tighten that up. This one's better, but this hinge is a little loose. But it's okay, because most of the time it goes like this. So, her, I showed you her head, Eep. and the arms still have the original ball joints. The way the new shoulders are sculpted, um, her arms would get stopped after going out that far, but you can always pull on the transformation hinge to allow the arm to go out even farther, give you a full, a full 90 degree, a tree pose, and uh, just... As is the original star screen, there is no waist joint, but uh, does have very good ball jointed hips. They go, they go the full Van Dam. I'm just stealing all my lines from Vangelis, aren't I? Um, and she has knees that go well beyond the 90 because of the new sculpt. This knee pad can move up like this to cover that gap if you so choose. And she has ankle articulation like this and an ankle rocker like that. So, very, a very well articulated, very, very good robot. Look at that. Um, I recently found out that back on Caminish, she earned the nickname Naughty Nautica, uh, and she apparently can cut a rug. So, I would really like to know the context of that, but whatever. I, I really should collect more of the more the meets the eye comic. I only have a few issues of it, but um, yeah, it's very good. So the Nautica figure can still be transformed. Um, now this is covered with 3D printed plastic, which is more fragile than the standard plastic that they would normally manufacture out of. But it has held up to several transformations on my part, so I would say it's okay. Let's go ahead and do it in front of the camera, because in case you, uh, in case you get this kit for yourself, um, you might want some uh, context. All right, so just like Starscream, you just kind of pull everything out. Uh, the head. Well, first, you put this black piece here. The head flattens like thus, and then the torso comes, and it covers it. The tail fin back here. Oh, I forgot. You can store her wrench on her back if you so choose, but these little round things on her hip skirts actually do very good as like side holsters for the thing. So you can actually have her carrying it like 
in a tool belt type position. And it's been cleverly sculpted to go into her hand by, you know, you slide it in on this narrow part, then you push it up into the rounder part so she can hold it. Oh. See? She's holding the wrench. Yeah, I love that wrench. In the comic book, that wrench is like... Like, I almost kind of consider her a female robot Doctor Who because she's so quirky. And on top of that, she has like... a. Where, where doc, the doctor has a sonic screwdriver that can do a million things, she has a wrench that can do a million things. And you just saw the one piece that doesn't hold on very securely, those kneecaps, the, they, they could have used longer pegs because they do fall off. But it's okay. Yeah. They hold, they friction right back into place. Yes. Glog, if you can change anything, maybe make those pegs a little bit thicker. Or add a mushroom head to the end of it. I don't know. Okay. So... Then you fold the arms in. Make sure the shoulder pads are pressed in all the way. Mm -hmm. This uh, 3D printed plastic holds paint really well. I've had the parts rub against each other quite a lot, but no paint scrapes have occurred. So if the arms go in basically the same position they were as Starscream. Then the legs go down like this. Yeet. Not used to transforming shit on camera. Okay, so this is where you deviate a bit. You rotate this. Like, you see, like, the hollow space in the bottom of the foot? It goes onto these little square peg things on the forearms. So you just kind of... And then... Yeah, you kind of do that. Yeah. Repeat on the other side. Ay ay ay, I still have a runny nose. Probably sound funny in this video. And, uh, there is the not. There is good old Not Nautica's submarine mode. It's not good? <laughs> but, you know, it's. It, this, this wasn't a toy made to be Nautica, this was a toy made to be Starscream. And we just kind of put a bunch of parts on it to make it look like Nautica in robot mode. In um, submarine mode, eh, the illusion's kind of broken a bit. <laughs> but, you know, it's still... It's still something. She looks... She looks like something. Besides, uh... The comic that Nautica's in doesn't take place on Earth, so they don't really need to transform to the sky. They transform for more practical reasons. How many oceans are there on Cybertron? Or Caminus, for that matter? I, I don't really know anything about Caminus. Hmm. Anyway, let's show some pictures uh, for a cool little gallery of all the cool stuff that the Nautica upgrade kit can do. Remember this cool little uh, cover art of Nautica? Well, the figure can pretty much do it. I think that's the sole reason why he made sure the knees could go so far. Just wish there was a waist joint. So yeah, Nautica can look demure. She can be all set up, ready to go wrench something. Uh, like I showed, she can holster that wrench and look pretty cool. Or if you don't want to holster on her side, you could always stick it on her back. Uh, and I know a lot of people really want to complete that Caminus trio, you know, Windblade and Chromia, so, you know, if you already have those two figures, then there you go, the completed Caminus trio. Now, the one thing is that, uh, yeah, like I said in the video proper, the submarine mode doesn't quite look like it does in the comic. But, you know, I'm not really going to hold that against her. I mean, she, she's trying her best with the fact that she used to be Starscream's jet. I mean... It's not her fault. Anyway, hopefully someday we'll get a proper Nautica figure that's able to more appropriately look like its proper submarine. 
All right. This is uh, Wake Angel 2001, and it's time for me to sign off.